Hello, everybody. It's the Cologne Podcast. Woo. We're two very uneducated yokels in East Texas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give their uneducated opinion on the world of fragrance. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. And today we're going to be taking a smell on this Mansara Sadrat Boise. It was a blind buy, Ryan. That's what you tell me. And I probably should have listened to this review from Machiavelli before I <laughs> spent the $90. Hit it. He says, there's something overly and obviously synthetic about this fragrance that I can't stand. <laughs> something plasticky or burnt nylons or something along <laughs> that line has zero to do with the Ventus period. Whoa. Yeah, which we hear people compare this to a Ventus all the time. And I was just kidding. I'm not saying that I'm upset with his purchase at all yeah but apparently machiavelli <laughs> was with his <laughs> well we're gonna find out and if you want to find out stay tuned stay tuned stick around don't go anywhere don't touch that <laughs> dial because we'll be right back but first <laughs> we need to do our one night stand review of bleaker street by bond number nine yeah one night stand review I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did because I thought it was drying down into something that was meh. But then I really started getting a lot of sandalwood. And I even said this morning, I was like, man, I'm so obsessed with sandalwood right now. I don't know what the deal is. And the more I wore it, the more I was like, I really kind of like it. <laughs> the one thing I did like about it is that it did have that undertone of like the little bit of must that Elysium has to me. Right. It is a little different. It's like a little bit of the Aventus, a little bit of that. We came back in this morning and we grabbed the cardstock and we took, we smelled it. It's like super strong on there. Yeah. So it's definitely one of those ones I feel like will last a while, especially putting your clothes, you're going to smell like this for a day or two. And I'm always surprised sometimes to see what lasts on the card as to what doesn't. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, it burns out on the skin really fast, but on the card, it's like, good Lord, it'll stay there for days. And yeah. then sometimes it's buck wild on both. Sometimes it's lacking on both. And you know, I was actually going to chime in with this because I messaged you yesterday. I don't know if really people can give an honest opinion about how long something lasts. Yeah. Because I put on Aquadigio the other day and I legitimately could not smell it anymore on me. I was yeah. kind of disappointed. I was like trying to smell on skin or whatever. And I took my daughter to the dentist. I'll let you know. Yeah. But as soon as the ladies pulled us back and I brought my daughter back there, immediately... <laughs> They go, whoa, you smell really good, you know, and they were really hyped about it. And to me, I was like, I could not smell it at all. I think, and this may be something, I feel like it's happening more to me than ever. I feel like my nose is adjusting to things a lot quicker to where I don't smell them as much, but as soon as I walk by somebody, they smell it. Yeah. Every time I get in your car, it smells like Aquadigio. <laughs> does it? It really does. See what I'm saying? I mean, and that's why I'm like, maybe the car theory is kind of true. Yeah. Because if it lasts long enough, on that or the card, I feel like we can say, you know what, it's probably going to last a good bit. A lot of people will, if they're looking to see what the performance is like, they're smelling themselves constantly. Yeah. Or like, at least what we do or what I do is throughout the day, I'm lifting up my arm or my hand or something like that to smell me it. Too. And I'm like taking mental note. Yeah. Me you know too. what I mean? And you become like kind of conditioned to not smell it as much because you're like getting so close to your skin and you're really getting in the... <laughs> <laughs> mm, you know? Yeah, I think maybe we're doing ourselves a disservice. And you know what? If anybody knows any tricks or hacks to where you can trick your mind into not getting burnt out on something that you put on you, because yeah. sadly, there's a lot of the stuff that we've been getting into, and I like wearing it, and I like to smell it. Because I think me and you both are somewhere in this. Yeah, we right. want people to think we smell good, but a lot of this stuff is for us. We like to be able to go, man, I smell freaking good. All right. We've talked about doing this episode before. Yeah. So it's not a new idea, but we need to put it up on the board because it's not up there. Yeah. We need to do that Colonversations episode of fragrance enhancers and fragrance, uh, you know, way fragrance hacks to make your fragrance last longer. There were a couple of weeks where me and you were trying different things out kind of each day to see. Yeah. What were where we would do one fragrance hack on one arm and then just spray yeah. the regular fragrance <laughs> on the other one. So be looking for that episode. I think we should do that pretty We soon. should do that one. My last thing I want to say about the bond number nine Bleaker Street. Yeah. 
is the bottle. That it's bottle. so hideous. It's like Mardi Gras caught up with freaking Patrick Starr and just did something dirty to him. <laughs> it's like, you know how each Avengers movie, they have a different suit? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is Captain America's like Mardi Gras <laughs> uniform or whatever. Yeah. It the is. Mardi Gras soldier. <laughs> or Again, we apologize if this is like, you know, tied to some heritage right. to New York or something, but man, that bottle is ugly. But other than that, I think it's a great smell. I personally it don't is. have a need for it in my collection just because. No, because it's cheaper to buy Elysium. I think we were saying that it kind of like meshes. It's like a T-way stop is what yes. you said. It's like Aventus, Elysium, and I think you said Santel 33, didn't you? No. I can't remember. 24 hours ago was too long. so long, especially when I'm running on about four hours of sleep right yeah, now. Yeah, good luck with these episodes, guys. He's uh, tired. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I will say, yeah, if it wasn't for the price, yeah. I'd totally be down. The first time I smelled it, I was like, wow, that's unique. It gives you something more than just an Aventus type vibe. Yeah. Like, there's more to it. But at the same time, for the price, I already have a list of fragrances that I'm pining over. And just so everybody knows, it's nowhere near CK Warren. Somebody in, I remember we were reading, somebody said it was similar to CK Warren. Oh, yeah. There's no, no way. I would never get that out of no, it. No, I don't know how they got CK Warren out of it. But there you go. I'm not sure. There's our one night stand review. I'm ready to drink up on this uh, yeah. Cedret Boise over here. Right. Okay, here we go. Mancera's Cedret Boise. Can I get first dabs on it? Absolutely. Man, this bottle is sexy as hell. Yeah. In the simplest way. As soon as I walked into the studio, he showed me this. And I was like, holy crap. It is super simple. It's almost too basic in a sense. But what sets it off is like, it's very minimalistic. It's just a nice cylinder bottle shape. But that twist off cap, yeah. it's like a tough touch to it. I love it, man. The simplicity is what makes it. It's like Apple. Right. You know, this was a blind buy that I bought off of myfragrancesamples.com because Mark does have retail bottles that he lists. Yeah. And I had been kind of looking at Mancera for a minute because I knew we had wanted to do a couple of episodes on them. Yeah. And so I've been just eyeballing the brand and ran across this and I was like, man, I think it was around $90. And I was like, man, for 90 bucks, this is a four ounce bottle. Yeah. I'd heard so many great things on YouTube about it Yeah. that I was like, ooh, 90 bucks is pretty steep for me. That's a pretty hard purchase for me just right now. You know, yeah. someday I'll be wealthy. <laughs> but until that, a $90 blind buy is a hard one. But I went ahead and did it. I said, you know what? Worst case, we'll do an episode on it and I'll chalk it up as I did it for the fans. <laughs> well, this is for the fans, y'all. I'm fixing to spray this up. Hefty atomizer, too. Yes. And with four ounces of it, we can afford to be a little more liberal. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. That is different. I see where people want to go with Aventus on this, but when I took the cap off and I was smelling, I was telling you, it smells like it's got a bitter bite to it a little bit. To me, it's more sweetened. I smell like a sweet lemon. It smells like, you know, when you zest a lemon. Yeah, I could get that. And it's like on the sweeter side. To me, Aventus is a little more sour smelling. I mean, it's still like a sweet pineapple, but it has a sharper edge. And this is like a real smooth lemon. I was saying it almost reminds me of Ani a little bit by Nishane because because Ani has that sort of citronella candle type smell. And I almost get this on the opening of Cedrite Boise. I get like this soft lemon sweet. <laughs> I love what you're saying citronella. <laughs> First off, we're down here in the South. Hey, we got those Zika virus mosquitoes flying around. We feel safe when we smell that kind of smell. <laughs> That's right. That's our happy place, especially in the summer. Yeah. Good Lord, if we're going to be outside, I'm burning like three of those things. <laughs> it looks like I'm conjuring the devil because I've got so many surrounding like my chair, you know? Have you ever bought a citronella plant, man? Uh-uh. They smell exactly like that. Really? There's like no variance. Like it smells just like that. I love that smell. Dude, I do too. I don't want to say this goes to that full direction, it's but not, I get what you're saying. Like this little, little bit of taste. Yeah, of it. yeah. There's not like a hard turn into that, but I'm picking up the nuances. Man, this thing is pretty sick. When I'm smelling the skin, it is kind of more that lemon zest vibe you're kind of telling me. Sure. I'd wear it. Yeah. When I'm smelling the car start too, I would love that on like my shirt drenched in this. Oh, for sure. 
This is definitely, for me, a summer type fragrance. This is nowhere like Aventus to me now. Nowhere no. Nowhere like it. Not at all. I don't know why people would even compare it. Well, the- I mean, I guess because like of the stupid, I guess, fruity burst or whatever. And But this also, from what I'm reading, I haven't really done a lot <clears throat> with this fragrance because I wanted to have a genuine reaction to it on the podcast, so I didn't want to wear it a bunch. Yeah. You know? So, I've only squirted it a couple times, but from what everyone says online and what we may need to pay close attention to is it does dry down a little on the smoky side, a lot like some of these Aventus batches. I mean, even what's drying down right now, of course, I know it's only been a few minutes, but I don't see where it's going to turn to that because when I spray Aventus, man, that thing, it turns so damn quick. Well, yeah, that one moves fast, probably a lot faster than this one, but it's something worth keeping an eye on. Well, I'll tell you what. He busting out the king, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. Let me put it on the back of my hand on the same one. Hold on. There you go. I'm just going to go ahead and spray a fresh spray of this, too, of the Mancera. This may be the danger of having this available right here, is that people want to compare it, and so naturally we're comparing it. Well, yeah, I want to see where they're going with it. To me, the Mancera is so much sweeter. Yeah, already the Aventus has a little bit of that smoky vibe to me. Immediately. That's why I'm like, I don't get that at all with this Mancera. In fact, what it's doing is really good. I'm just trying to figure out how to explain it. It's hard to explain because it's kind of, it's unique in that what it's doing is it's kind of simple. I think what you kind of said is the best, if I really want to sum it up. It's like a little bit of lemon zest, but it's like smooth. And I do smell a little bit of the smokiness on this Mancera. But when I smell the Creed, yeah, it is like a karate chop of smokiness. Yeah, immediately. In fact, already... The creed to me is down to that smoke. Dude, I can't believe how fast it gets rid of that zest. The best part. Yeah. And (laughs) right now, the Mancera has that best part. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Again, it's not a one-to-one. If you had never heard about Aventus, you probably wouldn't even put these two in the same category. I think the thing is everyone's looking for an Aventus replacement. Yeah. And anytime there is remotely one similarity, everybody goes, could this be the new Aventus? (laughs) Could this be the new Aventus? I think part of it, too, is fucking clickbait. I think it'd have to be, too, man. But here's the thing. Do we really... Are we really trying to... Not trying to get fragrance philosophy over here, but are we really wanting a Aventus replacement because even now smelling Aventus, especially after smelling everything we've smelled in the past month or two here now. Right. It's not doing it for me. Here's my issue with Aventus. And I love it. Yeah. I do too on other people. Yeah. Here's my issue with Aventus for me personally is that one, it does not cooperate with my skin at all. And you know that I get crazy performance out of fragrances. I don't know what it is about my skin. <clears throat> yeah. We'll, but- we'll smell each other's skin and he'll be like, wow, yours is like to the dry down. And then I'll smell his and his is still the top note. Yeah, it rocks horde. Yeah. <laughs> but Aventus, I can barely smell it on my skin even right now. It's always that case. And we found even with the clones, yeah. I was like, man, the clones do even better. So I don't know what's going on with Aventus, but I can't get that. And then also the sharp smoky in it. Yeah. I don't vibe it. For that price, there's no way I could spend money on a bottle of Aventus. Don't hate me. I'm spraying this man, Sarah. Dude, go for I it. I want to do a squirt on my shirt sleeve because I kind of want to see if it lasts on there today. Go ham on thought, it, man. I just thought about that. I would have to say, and God, don't kill me for this, <laughs> listeners. I love you. I prefer this over Aventus. I do too. For me. Look, it's so funny because Aventus is what kicked it off for both of us. Yeah. For like, whoa, this is what niche smells like? Because I will say, and maybe that's the funnel. Maybe that's what's happening. Right. If you have bought designer pretty much your entire life, which we had. Yes. And we didn't buy like crazy amounts. We would just buy like a bottle at a time. And once that bottle ran out, you went and got another replacement for it. There is some weird unnatural obsession with Aventus. I think probably at the time when it did come out, it probably did revolutionize what people think of something. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's still been trending hard because anybody that's like us or similar, you've smelled a certain way. You've been buying Aquadigio for 10 years. You've been right. whatever, wearing John Paul Gaudier's Lamal for five, 10 years. But dude, you finally grab this 
or Ventus and you smell it and you're going, whoa, this is a new ball game. And I will admit, when we first smelled it, we were blown away at what it smelled like. The funny thing was, is that we were hyped about it because we kept hearing other YouTubers talking right. about it. And I think we got suckered into that little spell as well to where everybody liked it. So probably part of us in a sense wanted to like it as well. And the price. The price says this is the best of the best because of how much it costs. And immediately we were going, do we like this because we know how much it costs or do we really like it? Right. And then after a week or two ago, we go, man, is it lasting long on your skin? And we'd both go, no, it's not. And little by little, we chipped away at what our first impressions were of it to where now it's like, yeah, we like it. But for the price, it can kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so interested when we're about to hit a fragrance yeah. that I will go online and watch and see what other people are doing. Then sometimes I really don't like doing that yeah. because it's kind of fake out there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people listen to what other people are saying and then just mimic that yeah. and hold the bottle and tell you everything that you've already heard. Yeah. I really wish you and I had never heard any of the hype and we we just had a sample of Aventus in line with all these other samples. If we could have gotten it without knowing the price either, just yeah. not knowing anything, just give us a sample. I think that would have affected it. But the fact that there is so much hype and it is so expensive, you automatically look for reasons to justify it. Yeah. In your head, you try to find to help justify why they're charging that much. Yeah. I'm going back to the Mancera here. I'm getting a little bit of the more of the leather to me. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of getting. But but it smells really, really good. And for that price, even if you got it for, what, 120 or something like that? What I was seeing online was about 120 to 140 ish dude, you know, typically. I mean, that's Chanel. Yeah. I mean, honestly, and dude, that's a good scent. I mean, look, Aventus is going to come up here and there. Yeah. But do you think we should not compare things to, like, is it hard to not do that? It's kind of hard because we had it here. But yeah. even when we were looking at Mont Blanc Explorer, I was like, wait, 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 wait don't yeah. do <laughs> you know, because you were like, I've got a Ventus here. I'm going to spray it on the other arm. Yeah. And I was like, man, it's so easy to always compare to a Ventus because that's what everybody's doing. But smelling this, to me, it doesn't scream a Ventus. It doesn't to me either. Especially when you put them side by side. Well, that's why I like to keep grabbing it because I can go, okay, here they go. They're saying it's a Ventus. But then you spray them and you go... This isn't a Ventus. Mont Blanc Explorer, totally get it. That one I do get. Totally get it. Elysium, I have no clue why people compare it to a Ventus. Whoever is comparing Elysium to a Ventus, seriously. Get, I, dude, we're two months fresh into this. Yeah. We can't even smell our ass from a hole in the wall. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is comparing a Ventus to Elysium or Elysium I, to a Ventus thinking it's a Ventus? It's I don't know. No one in the same ballpark. But it happens Nowhere. a lot, right? It does. It does. It's I don't know why. It's kind of strange. It goes back to what we were saying. Why are we looking for an Aventus replacement? Like, we've got to have it. It's because every YouTuber goes, top 10 fragrances you got to own. Got to have a Ventus. And while at the same time, they'll say, I've got the Aventus batch from 2015 or whatever yeah. like that. These people are not buying the current batches. That's supposed to be the big discrepancy right now. Right. Everything yeah. we're smelling is supposedly like this newer batch that it's not nowhere near what the, what the original was like. From what I've seen, like 2010, 2011, 2016, now 2020. Yeah. Like here are the three that everyone's kind of comparing. And there's multiple YouTubers that are doing comparisons between them. Oh, this one's a little more smoky. Oh, this yeah. one's a little more fruity. I'm sure in between bottles, it's going to change a little bit. That's the thing about using using a lot of naturals, which I'm yeah. assuming they have to do to, again, here I am trying to justify their price for them. Yeah. But I'm assuming, <laughs> you know, that's what they're doing. And so, because of that, that's going to change. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's bought a bag of fruit knows that one apple tastes different from the next apple in the bag. Yeah. They're going to taste similar, but there's something that goes on. Yeah. There's chemistry that's happening. Yeah. Nothing against Aventus. I do love Aventus. I have a little decant of it that occasionally I wear it most of the time to bed. It's it doesn't pro. It doesn't work well on me. I don't get the longevity out of it. I hate the weird smokiness that kind of happens with that. The price for me is what kills it. Yeah, but you can buy decants and I, I broke down the price the other day and said, wow, you can actually buy decants of Aventus and make up 100 mil and save $70 buying decants when typically you'd pay a little bit more per milliliter yeah. than buying the bottle. 
And in that way, you're going, wow, they're charging you an extra 70 to $80 just for presentation. That's the other thing, too. The bottle looks like dog ass to me. I don't care for Everybody the complains about the cap. The boxes are just thin cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting why it's expensive. They're not rolling out the red carpet by any means. And every time I see a YouTuber pull up a Ventus bottle, like the paint's chipped off of it. <laughs> and you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, this is not. We need to. Yeah, I was just back say, up. You know what? This is an Aventus shit fest over we're, here. Well, not just that. I've, we're not giving credit to this. What we're smelling today. This Mansara Cedrat Boise yeah. smells really good. Let me it get does. into this. Who the hell is wearing this? Okay, but before that, I will say <laughs> this is a lot closer to me to Nishane's Ani. Okay, Ani offers a little bit different, but it is so much closer to that than it is to Aventus. Yeah. So much closer. Because of that, I don't even understand the comparison. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you who I think is wearing this. Yeah, who's wearing this? I think to me, this is a little bit more mature of a sweet summer fragrance. I agree. And I definitely think this is a summer fragrance. Yes. Could you get away with this at 25? Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to smell a little bit better on you. If you're 30 and up. Honestly, I'm blown away by it. I kind of have to apologize to it because I get heated whenever I keep seeing Aventus being brought up. So I always got to bust out the little sample yeah. and see. And I don't, there's something really sharp. To me, this other thing, this has a sharper scent to me off the top for me. It's just right. sharp. I think probably somebody 25 and up can wear it. Definitely 30 and up. This is going to be your jam. Yeah. There's something a little bit more mature to it. That's what I like about scents like this. It's different. I think it's because it has a little bit of, like you were saying, some sort of leathery, smoky, something yeah. thing going on. And for $100, this is niche quality. When I smell it, I know I read the review where he was like, oh, super synthetic and shitty. And normally we try to pick out a review that's going to be a little bit more polarizing. polarizing. <laughs> just because we're not here just to clap hands and lift up every single brand. Like we do want to show both sides of the coin. Yeah. Even before we press record, I know me and Ryan are going to like this. Now on one that we hate, we may try to find somebody who actually likes the fragrance you know, as a review. <laughs> yeah. But as far as it goes, it just goes to show that everything is so subjective yeah. to your own personal preferences. But to me, it smells really good and it's a hell of a deal for 90 bucks. It really is is, man. I love it, man. The funny thing is, I thought it was going to be smoky, but putting it side by side with Aventus, it's I'm like, not, I don't no. even smell the smokiness compared to Aventus. Yeah. Aventus smells like I literally just smoked a cigarette in my hand and I've got a little bit left over on it. Yeah. Like after I've washed my hand, it's still kind of there, you know? All right. Well, let's get into it, Ryan. Skip it. Sample it. Buy it. I would definitely say at the price you got at, I would probably say buy this thing. Yeah. Obviously, sample it. But if you think you kind of like the vibe we were talking about, it, where it's like you like a little lemon zest yeah. and the dry down. Now, I don't want to say it's strong leather like ombre leather. You're not getting that. No, but it stays sweet, which is yeah. nice. It stays citrusy, which is nice. Yes, it's which is really nice because that's the one thing we've always said about Aventus. What yeah. if somebody could make, and we say it every episode, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what if somebody made that opening they made it last longer and i always say well mont blanc explorer did that for you <laughs> shut up stop saying it no well, for this, this one does it really good i mean i'm afraid to say buy blind buy on anything over 50 bucks in fact my butthole puckered a little bit when i <laughs> dropped the paypal link down on this bad boy yeah. i'm gonna be real because that's it so anything over 50 bucks i would scarcely say buy it gentlemen get out there and buy this yeah but for me, if you can sample it and get a sample of it, which I know for sure you can probably get one at myfragrancesamples.com. Yeah. If you sample this and then you see Mark boasting this beautiful $90 sale on a retail box unopened. Yeah. It's kind of hard to pass on. Dude, what I'm I, smelling on the card, yeah, I agree. I'm going to tell you, if I saw it back in stock on his website, I'd probably try to get me a bottle for real. Yeah. That is a badass smell, man. And 30 and up, yeah, this is yeah. a, it's a summer vibe, obviously, but I see business when I smell this. Sure. Man. It doesn't have the barbershop sort of notes in it that we're used to for a barbershop, but yeah. it kind of has that sort of yeah. barbershop -y type vibe. For me, man, if you're 30s and up, this is a great one where you want to smell fresh 
Yeah. But you also want to throw a little bit of style in the mix. I would <clears> choose this for a date night where I would choose Mont Blanc Explorer for chumming up around town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a badass smell, man. For I think you made a good purchase, for especially for Texas. Stuff like this is an all-year wear here because we never get winter. Yeah, and it's <laughs> sweet enough that getting into the winter here, which is what, 70s? <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much a northern summer yeah. is what we have down here <laughs> for December. Yeah. We've seen 90 degrees in December. And oh, that is no joke. No joke. That's why we don't get to experience all these fall fragrances usually just yeah. because of that. We can't just splash on <laughs> tobacco vanille anytime. <laughs> now, Spice Bomb, we've said that before. We're guilty yeah. of that. We've worn that dead heat of summer because that's right. They can get away with it on that We're one. We're like some of the friends of the podcast that we just say we don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. We're going to wear what we want to wear. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> but for this, there is a nice sweetness that will definitely pull this into cooler weather and you can get away with, I think, wearing this. Yeah. But the citrus makes it a nice choice for hot weather as well. Yeah. It's a damn good buy. And at 90 bucks, God, I'd almost say it's worth a blind buy, but I just can't tell you guys to buy something close to $100 without smelling it first. Go to myfragrancesamples.com, get you a little five mil and wear it a few times. And I bet you probably end up buying it. Yeah, for sure. If you've enjoyed today's episode, you'd like to help out the podcast, we've got three ways you can help out. Number one, you can write us an email at thecolonepodcast at gmail.com. We seriously interact with every email. We're not dialing it in. We yeah. have long messages we write. <laughs> well, lay, we lay on our bed with our feet up behind our back like a high school girl and we just type away. We say, <laughs> dear valued listener, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as I've come across your email in my leisure, <laughs> I've decided to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I won't go on. Another way you can help us is if you see a bunch of people in some sort of fragrance chat there online yeah. talking about how this is the Aventus killer and you want a good pineapple fragrance, grab Cedric Boise. Yeah. Why don't you put them a link up there to this podcast where we basically just complain about how they keep saying stuff like that, <laughs> how much they hurt our feelings when they bring Aventus into it. Everything. Yeah. You want to help us out there? Just yeah. share, share the podcast. Share it anywhere you seem fit. Instagram, Twitter, yeah. maybe a Reddit community. I know there's a subreddit called Fragrance. Holler at them. Yeah. That's the main thing. Really getting the word out because we are very unknown, yes. but we're very serious about this podcast. In fact, we treat it like a job, even though we're not making any money. We put our own personal money into it. And then anything that's given at the buymeacoffee.com slash cologne podcast, we take that and we put it right back into the show. Yeah. So we're buying samples and making sure that we have episodes coming up yeah. because we have no intent on slowing down. And just a few of you guys that have been sending emails and sending the coffees and stuff like that, that type of encouragement, we owe such a debt of gratitude to you guys that we feel absolutely committed to keeping this going. Seriously, we really do. And we are going to keep it going. It's honestly turned into a really odd passion for us. It really has. Yes, and we're obsessed with trying to make this as good as possible. So if you find value in what we're doing and you do want to donate, you can always check that out. Buymeacoffee.com slash cologne podcast. Or if you want to help us big time, just put us into the ears of other people that you feel like our message would be relevant to. There you go. All right. That's today's episode. Next episode is going to be a Creed fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be. You, you don't want to do that one? Oh. <sighs> God, I'd hate to go into another creed right after we just talked about Aventus. I think, I don't know. I think people want to hear. All right, guys, we're doing Creed Original Santo. <laughs> Ryan doesn't want to do it, but I've actually <laughs> worn this one a couple of times. It's an interesting fragrance, so. Buckle up, folks. And until then. Oh, boy, this is going to be a savage moment. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Ryan, you're going to have to get by your own personal biases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And just be unaffected by the word creed. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, boy. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. We love you. As always, be sure to follow us on your streaming platforms if you haven't already. That way you get notifications every time we upload a new episode, which will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the occasional random sample bag. Yes. And also, if you want to like us on Twitter and Instagram, find us there. Hit us up. We know there's not a lot there. We're going to get it going, okay? Eventually. We want to interact with the community. We really do. We loved any way we can interact. That's what we want to do. We do. But at the same time, we want to let you know, we're not trying to milk every platform. We are a podcast. Yes. And so we are going to do that. We're not going to be battling Jeremy (laughs) Fragrance for the top 10 panty dropper. You know, (laughs) that's not going to be us. But when you are- we're, We're coming after curly fragrance though are we no <laughs> <laughs> i know why you want to come after her. i'm a married man <laughs> and she's blonde she's not my type oh okay <laughs> i don't know i'm not even allowed to look at women on youtube <laughs> all right spray it up y'all